In this tutorial, we'll go through the process of generating outgoing emails from SellerCloud. You can send many types of emails from within SellerCloud, including emailing purchase orders to vendors and return labels to customers. In a few simple steps, you can send an email to a customer directly from the order they placed. A template can be selected that will automatically populate the order details into a formatted email body, which can then be sent off to the customer. You can also automatically generate various emails to customers, like feedback requests and shipping notifications, which are triggered by specific events. We'll focus on outgoing emails to customers. The first step is to configure your email settings in SellerCloud. On the Company Settings page, open the toolbox and scroll down to Email Settings. From the Sub menu, you can configure SMTP or POP settings. We'll select SMTP. In the From Email field, enter the outgoing email address. In the SMTP Server field, enter smtp.gmail.com, for example. Then enter your Google account credentials. Traditionally, SMTP uses port 25, but if you are enabling a secure connection and require authentication, use port 587 instead. Test your settings and save. Now we need to create an email template. On the Email Settings submenu, click Email Templates. The grid will display all your existing templates. Click Add New Template to create a new template. Give the template a name to reflect its purpose. The subject field is the email subject header the customer sees in their inbox. We'll create this template as a welcome email the customer receives upon purchasing an item. Fill in a name that will display as the sender and put in the sender email. You can add a reply to address and you can choose to CC the email to a specified address as well. The body of the email is entered into the HTML editor. You can put in static text like thank you for your order and also add dynamic content by using placeholders. Placeholders are tags that reference order information. For example, if you want to mention the customer's name, put the cursor where you want the customer's name to display and select first name and last name from the list of placeholders. Now the customer's name will be pulled from the order and populated into the email. There are many more placeholders in the code snippet dropdown, including the SKU and the order number. You can also put a placeholder like the order ID into the email subject field. This way, the customer will see the order number on the subject line in their email inbox. The email can be formatted with an HTML design by clicking on the HTML tag over here. Save the template. Now we need to assign the template to be sent out automatically when an order comes in. On the Email Settings submenu, click Email Template Assignments. On this page, there are more than 30 different types of email assignments related to customer support, including shipping confirmation, payment reminders, and out of stock notice. On the Email Type Order Welcome, we'll select the template we created from the drop down to send to a customer when the order comes in. Click Update Grid to save your template to the assignment. We can test that the email assignment will be generated correctly by using the Test action on the Action menu. On the following page, select the email type you want to test and enter an email address where you'd like the email to be sent. Click Send Email. If your email and template has been configured correctly, you should receive a sample email. On the Email Assignments page, there are three reminders for payment. These are typically used if you do not require immediate payment on eBay orders. When configuring an email assignment for payment reminders, you can use the Email Rules page to schedule the email generation for each assignment. For example, you can schedule the first reminder to be sent after 24 hours, the second after 3 days, and the third after 5 days. The same thing can be done for all three feedback reminders. Feedback requests can be generated using these assignments. Using the Order Feedback Request Setting page on the submenu, you can select for which channels you want the feedback request to be generated. On the Blacklisted Domains page on the Email Settings submenu, 
you can create a blacklist to prevent emails from being sent to specific domains. This is important because many channels set restrictions on sending emails to customers and have specific parameters that need to be followed. So you may decide not to send emails to that channel at all. Emails can also be sent manually to customers from the order detail page. Open the action menu and click send email. You can use the show or hide orders list to display or hide the order. Now enter a message or select an email template from the template dropdown. You can also add any attachment, like a coupon for future orders, to the email as well. To send emails to multiple customers, like to direct purchasers of a specific item to download a manual from a link you include in the email body, select those orders from the Manage Orders page. Then click Send Email from the Action menu. Complete a single email and click Send, and an email will be generated for each order selected. Masked email addresses, like the kind Amazon puts on the order, will be redirected to the customer's email address. SellerCloud stores records of all emails to customers. Under the Customers tab, open the Customer's Profile. Clicking on the Email Log in the sidebar will display all emails sent to this customer. The record details who sent it, the subject of the email, when it was sent, and the email template that was used. An error log will note if the email was sent unsuccessfully. You can even view the email sent by downloading the file from the View Email link. For more information on outgoing emails, please visit wiki.sellercloud.com.